So I recently watched a YouTube video uploaded by a man named Jake Farron. And in this YouTube video, he was talking about how he was making a six figure salary and still living paycheck to paycheck. And as I was watching that video, it was very easy to relate to the situation because many of us as Americans think that once you hit that six figure mark, whether as an individual or as a family, that that is a time where you'll be able to start to live a little bit freely financially. And if you don't spend extravagantly, you'll have a much easier time saving money, going on vacations and just living without much stress. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my own situation before I got things on track financially for me and my family and give you guys a real life look into how a small young family of three making $125,000 a year was still living paycheck to paycheck even though we felt like we were doing well and not even living paycheck to paycheck we were actually living beyond our means and losing money every single month so I will link Jake's video in the description below because he does a good job of explaining his situation but this video in particular is going to talk about how me and my wife who both make about $60,000 a year we're still living and paycheck to paycheck so the relatability of it may be a little bit different if you're a couple of or if you're engaged with a young family so the story starts when me and my wife both got our first jobs we were both making about 60 65 thousand dollars a year and our total annual income as the title of this video says was 125 thousand dollars and that meant that monthly before taxes we were bringing in about ten thousand four hundred dollars gross so to many at that point we were already living the american dream we did have our son pretty early when we were still in college but two 22 23 year olds making ten thousand dollars a month before taxes of course you would think that we would be having the time of our lives but we quickly realized that real life hits you in the face and even if you don't do anything extra special and you don't take care of your responsibilities let me show you how quickly that check can disappear so the first thing that we wanted to do to be responsible was contribute to our 401ks we knew by reading books and listening to some of the older people in our lives that we should probably contribute 15 percent to our 401ks now since my wife was a school teacher i was the only one that had a 401k so instead of her contributing 15 percent whatever amount went into her teacher retirement account i subtracted that from the 15 percent of our gross income and just increased my 401k contribution so that overall between the two jobs it will be 15 percent gross and 15 percent of our gross income ended up being about 1562 dollars a month so we already knocked down to about nine thousand dollars but then after that comes everyone's favorite part of being an adult and that is taxes so how we were being taxed back then because we didn't have our w4 set up correctly was that approximately 30 percent of our pay checks were getting paid out in taxes in some form or another now this is including social security tax medicare and then i'm also going to include any miscellaneous life insurance fees in this number so overall the tax category being taken out of our paycheck was about 30 percent of our gross income and this adds up to about two thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars a month so after all this we're still at about six thousand dollars net a month that still is a lot of money what are you talking about how are you living paycheck to paycheck when you have six thousand dollars in free cash flow well as the financial journey continues we decided that because we had a small family we didn't want to rent an apartment anymore so we decided to rent a modest four bedroom two bathroom house in Alabama which is a fairly cheap state to live in and that house ended up costing us about two thousand dollars a month in rent and with that rent we also had to pay our own utilities which included water gas electricity and Wi-Fi and some other miscellaneous utilities included in there as well which added another eight hundred dollar expense to the house so now we're in the hole another twenty eight hundred dollars which puts us just under thirty four hundred dollars a month net income but now of course we have to take care of our living expenses groceries for a small family that likes to eat healthy organic food can run you anywhere from about 150 to 200 dollars a week and obviously you need some sort of transportation to get back and forth to work and if you're someone who's thinking you're making 125 thousand dollars a year so you can obviously afford a nice car you go ahead and buy you a new car to get back and forth for work right well two new auto loans at 450 dollars a month plus 800 dollars a month in groceries and then realize you have to pay 300 dollars a month for both cars and insurance leaves you with about 1100 dollars now after all of those expenses however if you thought that was the end of the expenses I did tell you that we were a small family so we have a child and unbeknownst to us daycare is extremely expensive so back then if we want our child to be in one of the nicer daycares that could cost anywhere from $175 to $300 per week so we're then added a $1,200 a month daycare bill on our monthly budget and before you know it now we are in the negatives without even realizing it because it all happened so fast thinking that we were making enough money and then some to cover everything we needed had an us added monthly payment after monthly payment and now before we took our first vacation we are living on credit cards because we are overdrawing our account by $100 every single month now i truly believe that this is not an uncommon scenario for most americans because as income increases 
expenses, lifestyle expenses tend to increase as well. This budget does not include vacations. This budget does not include unnecessary eating out all the time. It is just a very realistic budget for a family who's trying to do everything that they possibly can to be responsible and still they are quickly living paycheck to paycheck. If one of us would have lost our jobs at that time, we would have been financially ruined because it was just not sustainable to even live that lifestyle. However, since then, we have then taken the steps to redirect ourselves financially and then get on the steps to actually building wealth. So I wanna talk about for the rest of this video, how exactly we did that and how we began to turn our lives around financially. So one of the first things that we did was cut our biggest unnecessary expense, which was childcare. And how we did that may not apply to everyone, but I ended up getting a remote job. So I was able to take my son out of daycare and then save $1,200 a month in that sense. After we took our child out of daycare, we then took our extra money and paid off as much debt as possible starting with the cars and with the cars once they were paid off we were then able to lower our insurance coverages and switch to a cheaper insurance provider so this is sort of a mini debt snowball that dave ramsey teaches a lot of his videos of how we were able to lower our expenses first and then focusing on gaining more control of our income as we continue to progress on a financial freedom journey and then once we're able to have an extra two thousand dollars a month or so we focused on saving money on groceries and saving up for a down payment on the house which is the house that we're living in now and once we saved up about twenty to twenty five thousand dollars and bought the three bedroom, two bathroom house that we're living in now, our mortgage actually decreased our living expenses. So we went from paying $2,000 a month in rent to $1,200 a month for a mortgage in the house that we will completely own one day. And I've talked about this entire journey over the course of this YouTube channel. It goes way back to the very beginning. However, the purpose of this video is that if you are in an area right now where you are living a paycheck to paycheck, even if you don't make $100,000 a year, or even if you make $300,000 a year, I think the very first thing that you should do is to create a budget that lists all of the expenses that you encounter on a month to month basis. Every single expense, all the way from your mortgage to the iCloud storage expense that you have that costs one or two dollars a month. By doing this, you will be able to see exactly what you're able to cut out, exactly what's unnecessary, so that you can start to turn your financial life around and in turn, you'll turn your emotional and your mental life around as well because you're taking one of the most stressful things off your plate, which is financial worries. And if you wanna watch some of my other videos about side hustles or investing in the stock market or just building passive sources of income, then I have a ton of them on the channel so feel free to subscribe and also like this video if you found any kind of value in it and if you stayed until the end of this video if you go down into the description and sign up to the public app they will give you a free stock as a courtesy from me to you you don't have to deposit any money you just have to sign up and you'll get a free stock valued anywhere from three to three hundred dollars so i hope this video was able to shed some light on a very serious situation here in america that even a hundred thousand dollars a year or one hundred twenty five thousand dollars a year in our case can easily be eaten up just by a few bad purchases and not keeping track of where your money is going. But that's a mouthful already, so I'll see you in the next one, guys.